I am exposing my followers' darkest and most embarrassing secrets. Anonymously, of course, because I am a good internet friend. Number one, I used to be attracted to my first cousin. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, all right. Okay. First cousin. I'm trying to justify it in my head, but like, we can't deny it's a little bit weird. It's one thing to like admit, like, when your cousin, it's like, oh, like, he's a good looking guy or she's like a pretty woman, you know, but to like be attracted to them, like to lust them in some way. Hey, maybe there's people out there who are gonna be like, yo, well, I do have a hot cousin, but it's because you're related. First cousin, like second cousin or cousin by marriage is even somewhat different, but like first cousin? Y'all, I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you are new here, um, hello, I burp on this channel. It's just a thing. I don't try to hide it because it's a natural thing. <clears throat> But I do say excuse me. Two, I sometimes smell my armpits <laughs> to check for stink. Don't we all? Like at some point in our life, sometimes you just gotta do the sniff test. Maybe you're out in public, maybe you forgot if you put deodorant on in the morning and you can't really look me in the eye and tell me that you have never done one of these before where you like casually like it's your head and you're just like and you do a little sniff test we do it i feel like this is a secret that you are just the only one to admit it but like we're all sitting there being like we've done that three i once picked my nose on a remote interview just as the interviewer was signing on so like you were on like a zoom call or a skype call and they came on and you were digging for gold in your nose? Oh man, oh man. I think I would just slam my computer shut and just hide my identity, move countries. I mean, what interview was it though? Like a job interview? <laughs> Cause then if you get hired, you know that they know and then you're feeling that awkwardness. I don't get embarrassed very easily, but if I was in that, I think. I think I'd be embarrassed. Four. Ripped my pants at work once, right across my butt. I didn't notice though, and nobody told me all day. Fake friends. No one told you? That's the worst part. Like, I'm not even that phased by ripped your pants because like, you know, you can't control it. And surely you might've, well, I would hope, maybe. You had underwear on? Cause then that would help from it being a uh, bare butt. <laughs> Bare butt and underwear butt are very different things. <laughs> Moving on from that, the more embarrassing thing is that people definitely noticed and didn't tell you. That's just rude. I feel like everyone here as humans should vow to each other that if someone has a rip on their ass, that you tell them about it. I would want to know. Please tell me if I have a hole in my pants. I grew up not knowing that pickles were actually cucumbers. <laughs> really? I mean, I don't judge because trust me, I am not the brightest crayon in the box or the sharpest tool in the shed. There is a lot in this life that I don't know. And I'm 29 and I'm still mind blown by facts when I hear them and I'm like, mm, this is common sense to other people. Like, why isn't it common sense to me? However, I did know pickles uh, were actually cucumbers, but that is also because I have a very unhealthy obsession with pickles, which most of you already know. Um, so I knew this, but when did you find out? Because I do remember when I learned that, I was like, whoa. Because a cucumber versus the taste of a pickle is very different. Very different vibes. Six. I accidentally called my teacher mum. He was a male teacher, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I feel like we've all done that teacher thing, especially in elementary school. I remember calling like my teacher's mom or dad on accident. But the fact that you said mum and it was the male teacher makes it like, that's just like the cherry on top of embarrassing. 
I remember more recently, I accidentally called my dad babe. <laughs> Like the way I talk to my boyfriend, you're just like, oh, babe. And then I was talking to my dad really quick and just came out. I was like, oh, whatever, babe. And I'm like, Whoa. like, no, 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 no. I don't think my dad really caught on though. He never said anything. I live with the painful memory, but we've never talked about it. Seven, I drunkenly told my friend who I have a crush on that I fancy her. Now it's awkward. Oh no! I love the little eye emoji. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Sometimes you just want to confess your love when you're drunk. <laughs> Maybe we can all relate to that in some way. I definitely can. It's always a risk when you tell a friend that you have feelings for them because you know it's going to risk the friendship. That is the hardest part about love, baby. Ooh! I had a lifelong best friend. We grew up together since like, like good friends since grade three. And in high school, we ended up dating each other for a few years. And then we lost the friendship for a long time after that. And it really sucked. And I was like, oh man, like I feel like we should have just stayed friends because then we could have been friends this whole time and not missed out. We're good now. Yeah, it's always a risk. I'm not saying don't do it. Do I regret it? Uh, like me. No, I don't regret the relationship, but like I just, you know, Friendships are also very special. Eight. Went skinny dipping once and fell into bunches and bunches and bunches of jellyfish. That's a nightmare. That's like, that's bad to fall into bunches of jellyfish with clothes on, let alone naked. Like, what about your private parts? <laughs> that's all I'm concerned about, truly. Like, what if they sting? Like, could you die? I don't know. I don't, like I said, I don't even want to be around jellyfish with, I don't want to be around jellyfish with clothes on, let alone in the nude. That just sounds, that's a nightmare. That is a nightmare. Mm -mm. Like, I hope you are okay. And I hope your junk is okay too. Or your lady bits. Nine. Bled through my pants when I was 12. Yay periods. Oh. See, girls obviously will only be able to relate to this, but I got you. I think like adolescence is a hard time. And it's also hard for males too, because females are going through all these changes with their period, which is a mortifying thing, by the way, men. Like when you first just start bleeding out your body, there's nothing natural about it, it seems. And it's awful and it's scary and it's embarrassing. But men, well, boys, um, they gotta worry about, they have to worry about random pitching of the tent. The word starts with a B and rhymes with toner, if you know what I'm saying, because it happens to their bodies randomly. Sometimes it's in class, like there's no reason for it. It just happens and that's very embarrassing. So I just gotta say, I am proud of all of us for going through adolescence and powering through and making it out okay. Cause those are tough times, okay? 10. I'm 23 and I'm still a virgin waiting for the right one. <laughs> My heart. That's beautiful. I really applaud you for sharing that secret with me, okay? And it's anonymous, like I know, but like no one else knows and secret is safe with me, okay? Age, who cares? To me, age is just a number. You have your whole life. You do what you want. It is your life. It is your morals and values. It is your body. Good for you. Good for you. All right, guys, those are some of my followers. Um, darkest and embarrassing secrets, which I know. And now you know, but like I really know, you know? So thanks for everyone who sent them in. If you want to be a part of my next video like this, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I try to do these videos as often as possible because I love interacting with my followers and I keep everything anonymous, I promise. Even with my editors, they don't see names, they don't see profile pictures, nothing. I make sure I personally screen grab them and cut out names and photos just for you, okay? I'm out of here, you guys. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe to keep hanging out. See you next time.